Hey, hey, everybody, this is Lavi. This is day 24th of the Leap Code Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's bomb. 909, uh, Stick and ladders. Uh, yeah. Hmm, why is my mic a little weird? Hmm. All right. Uh, anyway, hope everyone's having a good week. Uh, and yeah, let's let's see what this bomb's all about. And it seems like I haven't done it yet. So let's go. Sorry, I'm getting distracted because my my lamp is like being really like shaky. Maybe it's just my eyes. I don't know. Mm, anyway, uh, yeah, hope everyone's having a great uh, evening so far. Anyway, let's see. N by N, okay. You have a board. I don't, what's a what's a boss or free on style? Is it just like? Do, 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 do? Oh no, it's uh, like a, a whatever. Okay, maybe. <clears throat> Uh, starting from the bottom left and then alternating direction each way. Okay. I mean, I guess I know what second ladder is, right? Okay. So then you start at square one, you choose a destination square next and label current. Choose a destination square next with, with a label in the range, curve plus one, min of curve plus six and square. It's just like a probability thing or is it a minimization thing hmm doesn't help that okay so let's let's take a look at the example well maybe I mean at most six destination regardless of the size of board uh, I mean six sided die okay if the next has a snick or a ladder you must move to the destination of snake or ladder otherwise you move to the next the game ends when you reach n square okay <clears throat> a lot of reading uh, all right, so it's an end by end board. So okay, so board to an RC has a snake or ladder if it is not negative one. Otherwise, it is the destination of uh, that one. That makes sense. So this goes to square fifteen. All right. <clears throat> now that you may only take a snake or ladder at most once per move, if the destination is uh, to a snake or ladder is the start of another stick or ladder, you do not follow the subscribe. To okay. Fine, though that's weird, but okay, fine. Uh, all right, return the least number of moves required to move to square and square. Do you have to add land on the thing to uh, to use the ladder? I guess so, or the snake. All right, so it's a minimum num number of moves. Let's kind of take a look real quickly. It's just, I think it's this is just saying it takes one of the next six moves. Okay. That's basically what they're saying, and then you try to minimize it. Uh, okay, I mean this seems maybe straightforward. Let me think. Right, <clears throat> uh, there are two things that I'm thinking about right now. One is dynamic programming, and the other is uh, shortest path. Right, and and of course, you know the the ego eyed or well practiced uh, viewer may know that in some in some way, the dynamic programming solution is the shortest path problem, uh, and you might be right. Um, so I don't know if that's true, just because... Just because... Um, I don't... Sorry, I don't, I don't know if that's true, just because... Um, the graph is not a DAG, at least not directly. I mean, there, you could maybe you could um, create a um, like a, a not a dual, but you could create an additional dimension in which that the resultant um, I would say dual, but it's not really a dual, but like uh, and, uh, the new graph will be uh, a DAG, right? So you can create a DP that way in case you're wondering, but but otherwise, I think this is just shortest path, and you could prefer search, right? Because because basically you, you want to see the first time you can get to each square and then you just get to the last square. And then after that, it's just simulation or like making sure that you are going from the right place. So I think that should be okay. So let, okay, let's do that. So N is equal to length of board and you start at cell one. <clears throat> um, yeah, so let's just say current is equal to zero, right? And then we, we have to figure out how to best do it. Um, Okay, so then let's just say, 
best is you go to uh, non, non times uh, n times n, right? Because that n times n squares. M maybe we could use a, a, a lookup table depending on how how big is n. And it's only up to tw twenty, so it's going to be at most four hundred squares. I'm not going to worry that much about it. Um, maybe that's a place for optimization later. But uh, okay, so then now we and q uh, q is do, 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 do. Right, uh, zero, and that's really it. Uh, and best of current is you go to zero from the start, and then this is just this is just uh, breath first search stuff, and then uh, x is you go to q dot pop left, right? Um, or maybe I'll, I'll name it as why do I have current set up like that? Current is zero. This I don't know why. Hmm. I wrote it like that. Hmm. Okay. All right, and then now we we can go to one of those six cells, right? So yeah, and actually, mm, let me think about this. I mean, we can. So there are two ways that we can think about it, right? One is that we keep it our our. So right now, my current thing is just going to be an n by or a number from zero to n times n minus one and then i was going to convert it into the board the other way that i guess you can do it is really just having a board a second board a, a um a mapped board maybe and obviously this takes more memory but maybe i'm just lazy you know um and then for row and then board um uh, board, maybe enumerate right right and then m board dot append row or oh, it do we uh, if index mod 2 is equal to 1, the odd rows should go the other way, right? So in that case, you can actually just something like this, right? Maybe. Um, and then now, we this becomes way easier to do. Um, you know, let the computer do the work for you. Um, and then now we have to do in range of 6, from 1 to 6. So, yeah. Um, and then if best of i plus current or maybe you know new new current or next is to go to current plus i right is none then best of nx is equal to best of current plus one and then we enqueue it so q dot append nx um kind of this is not quite um, sufficient because because we don't do the latter thing right um, okay so yeah so da, 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 okay mm, well wait, wait, da, 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 da. if m board of nx is not negative one nx is equal to m board of nx I think that's actually good enough and then at the way end we return um yep fine we turn negative one here and then maybe on the either on the pop or on the q um if nx is equal to n times n minus one then we return uh best of current plus one so this is a little bit of an early termination and yeah and then we have a bug Best and x, right? Isn't that right? Is n x is oh um this is not. It, this should be, I think I, I meant to write extend instead of append. Um, so it was returning an array. All right. And extend of course just adds stuff to the end. I th I think so. I'm not very really familiar with that one. Uh, let's give a submit. Hopefully I didn't make an edge case. Huh. Oh. Because these are one based. But, hmm. I wonder why that actually passes the stuff. No, it doesn't pass as this one. Also, oops. Uh, let me copy this case. That's what I wanted to do. I actually was sloppy in maybe two ways, at least. I don't know how that got right. 
and I, I think I was just unlucky, I suppose, because it was it was giving the right answer. Um, Um, it was giving the right, and this gives the right answer because we fixed the indexing. But now this is wrong. Start at one, you go to two, and you go fifteen. Hmm. Why does this thing is four? I mean, we did fix it, this one, but but now the the example case is wrong, which is kind of odd. Hmm. Got really lucky, quote unquote lucky, and then got it, got got this right on the, on the wrong code, but hmm, Maybe we can print. Oops, okay. Let's see. Zero, one to six, okay. Uh, we want to see 14 being good. Why is this? Well, uh, hmm. So it seems like it was missing this part. It, it didn't go from two to, it just stayed at two. Oh, I am an idiot too, because this is also one indexed. Oh, um, no, this one is right, whoops. Why is that wrong? Hmm. Let's have a silly mistake somewhere. 19 to 13, is that right? That doesn't seem right. Did I do this one or? No, someone did it. No, it should be just that the. Oh! I am an idiot, that's all. Because. Okay, 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 okay. Wow, this is a really weird problem. I mean, or at least like the format they give you. Because basically, the first row that they give you is the top. Right? Is that right? Yeah, because the first row is the top. Wait. Is that true? Let me see. You're given where this bottom left of the board okay but okay no 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 yeah they give you the input from the top so that's why everything is wrong because i assumed that they were giving it from the bottom for some reason this is actually a really weird way of doing it and also how how did i get uh, i had two wrong i had two wrong things that gave me the right right answer by accident so i just have to fix it okay wow that's kind of a weird thing but but again, the good part about that is just we have to change this part because this part is abstracted away, um, assuming that it is correct, which, you know, we haven't been. But uh, okay, so, <clears throat> so now what? Um, well, we can just, whatever, re reverse this one and then, all right, fine. Yeah, because that was my assumption anyway, so we'll just do it that way. Yeah. Um, we don't have to print stuff anymore. Where's my print statement? All right, let's give a submit. All right, there we go. Just a lot of silly mistakes, but um, and just a lot of reading. I'm too tired to be reading. Um, one day, or at least you know, uh, today was my heavy squat day, uh, so I squatted a lot. So that's where all my blood is at. But um, yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. This is oh, I didn't do analysis. Sorry, friends. This is regular BFS, so it's going to be V times E, which is linear. Which in this case, the V is going to be um, uh, n times n, which is the size of the input, the number of nodes, and then E is six times n, so or give or take. 
um, well, sorry, six times V, so N times N times six, um, and that's pretty much it. Because um, it's still linear, it's going to be V plus E, and in terms of space, well, this is linear space, because that's the size of whatever. Um, can you do it a little bit better? Maybe, I don't know, I don't think so, though, because you have to keep track of it in some way. But I also use more space in other places, but yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. And yeah, stay good, stay healthy, do good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.